What's up everybody, this is Sitchat here and welcome to another late recording of the Pokemon Prism playthrough. This is episode 8 and yeah, like I said, it's a late recording. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning and I should really try and get out of the habit of recording these so late but nobody really cares. So... I'll just fill you in on where we currently are. We are in a forest. I um, don't know what the forest is called, and I don't know where it goes. Uh, but it came from a place where there was a Pokemon Center that you had to pay, pay for. If that means anything. And I've only just realized that all my Pokemon are dying. So I think I'll probably just level Greeny up and then run from all the battles okay we've got some sort of trainer up here missed there we go oh this is Ringy. oh that's the forest it's Ringy's forest or something like that bug train oh Christ what the hell just happened god damn okay looks like I won't be leveling up greeny holy shit and that's the Ivasaur beat and a Tangela so hopefully I'll take this out Easily damn. Okay, let's do it cheapy. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. Nice! And that's Ringy defeated. And Sheepy learned a pointless move. That was Thunder Wave. Nature Badge. Wait, was that a gym leader? Oh god. She wasn't even in a gym. That's pretty weird. But, okay, I guess we just beat a gym leader. Flame is the only one that can learn cut. Please know something terrible. Ah, goddamn. Okay, tackle can go. So now we can cut these trees. And I'm just going to run from this. Is there anything this way? There's something that way, but I'm not going to risk running into trainers because my Pokemon are dying. What the? Ah, oh, we're back at the start now. Well, this is what the place I was telling you about where you have to pay to use the Pokemon Center facilities thingy. But now we've got cut. I assume we can go somewhere that we couldn't before. I mean, I find the cut trees in Pokemon Prism kind of hard to notice because they blend in too well with the other trees. Yeah, what is this place? TM10. Is he going to tell me what it is? Hidden power. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um. Trying to think of anything I can talk about. Um, nope, not really. I mean, I could talk about shoddy battles some more, but I feel like I've done enough advertising for it. <laughs> I was playing again before, but there's there's nothing to update about. I kind of lost some more, and I. If you remember last episode or the episode before, I was talking about this guy's baton pass team and I've run into a couple more of those actually but not any that have worked as well as this guy's did so and I thought okay I'll make my own I switched the wrong Pokemon I meant to switch the sheepy uh, yeah so I tried to make my own baton pass team and it just kind of failed but I should have kn known that it was gonna fail because when I was making it I just I kind of rushed there, made so many wrong moves, but the team that's working for me at the moment is my Raindance team. 
it's the only one that really wins. And yeah, it doesn't win that much, but it does win. And that's about all I've got to say on Shoddy Battle. And also, in regards to my Shiny Gold X Unevolved run, I think I'll start uploading that when this gets to episode 10 or episode 15, so in a couple more episodes or like twice as many episodes, depending on which one I decide, I think I'll start uploading Shiny Gold X, but with my Pokemon Prism walkthrough, playthrough, whatever, I do one a day, and I try to keep it like that, basically, whereas Shiny Gold, I just kind of upload whenever, because I mean, it's not exactly hard to do this every day because I enjoy it. I could, actually, there's quite a few times where I want to upload more than one a day, but I, sh I can't because then it'll go really quick. And um, yeah, but I think like uploading two every day of a different playthrough would kind of get a bit too much, so I wouldn't upload any more than one a day, but. Yeah, I don't know. It'd just kind of be random. Like, if I had one I wanted to upload, I'd upload it. And that's Greeny leveled up. Trying to learn Thrash. Bite, Rock Throw, Pound, and Sandstorm. Yeah, I'll forget Sandstorm. And I should have really switched for this Onyx, but I don't care too much. gonna beat this on it and hopefully in this episode we'll go to like the next area or whatever so I can you know talk about something and because I feel like and this is just my opinion that if I'm in like a new city or whatever I think it's more interesting because I can talk about more stuff and uh, it's, just, it's like I actually talk about the game but I don't know, from what I've noticed this hack has a way of making the areas in between two cities extremely long and it gets kind of annoying, Not, I'm not saying it makes the hack hard to play or bad or anything like that but it's annoying I assume for the people who watch this because <laughs> I'm like literally just walking around doing nothing and yeah I can imagine it's pretty boring, I mean I get bored listening to myself do nothing but you know, listening to somebody else do nothing sounds pretty pretty dire. So yeah, it'd be really nice if I could actually make some progress. And there's Greeny down, Dopey's down, Flamey's down. Let's go Sheepy. Get some Thunder Shock in there. I love the old battle animations. They're really cool, like Thunder and Thunder Shock. They look badass and the noises they make are super cool. Okay, there's, ah, we cut them, and there's a trainer there, oh, oh, wait, I know where I am, we're way back at the start, look at this, let's see, these are like level 3, I think, get out the grass, this is like the very first grass you encounter that has wild Pokemon in it, and if I go down here, we will be, as soon as it's going to let me, yeah, we're at the very starting town. <laughs> well, what do you know? I don't know why it's brought me back here, actually. I don't, am I supposed to go back here, or am I supposed to have gone some other way? I, I don't like my chances that way, I'd rather go up this way. But I am getting conscious of time, it's coming up to the 9... You know, it's coming up to the 10 minute mark. And that would kind of be annoying because I've not really got anywhere. And yeah, I know I let my episodes go to 15 minutes, but... Um, yeah, 10 minutes of not doing anything. And then, like, I can't imagine doing any more in that other 5 minutes just because of... 
I don't know, was, let's say just because of how bad I, I am at getting to the next place. And I don't know why I can't escape from this bunny area, but I don't care. If it doesn't want me to escape, I guess I won't escape. <sighs> this is kind of annoying. Oh, I'm not going to fight because it's wasting my time. What the hell? That is so annoying. Hmm. See? And here I am. Nothing to talk about. Oh, it's daytime now. I suppose it's a nice change of colours. Oh, hello. He's a black belt with a macho. Wow. I think I'll get a few curses in. I think I have to go for three. And then... Okay, no, that, that was a failure. It's rock throw. Not very effective. Yes, yeah, so I'm dead there. Ember? Ember. Ember. Great stuff. Okay, so that's that guy beat. Yeah, I think this is the way that I was supposed to be going. So no, I wasn't supposed to be going back to the starting town, but I suppose it... Wait, no, this isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. Wow. I am completely stuck. Hmm, okay. I'm really not sure what to do here, but I'm going to use the expensive Pokemon Center. No, I did do that. <clears throat> okay, I know there's not long left of the video, but I'm just going to pause it right here, and then once i found the way I'm supposed to be going, I'll resume, because this is getting annoying. Okay, and we are back, and yeah, I've found the way now. It turns out we were supposed to come through this way. At least I think. And used cup here. And here we are. It was like a bridge, but... Oh, I already fought this guy. So, sorry about that. But yeah, I don't know if this is the right way, but I know you can definitely go this way, and it's a different way to what we have been. So I'm going to try this way, but I didn't go too far forward, because I didn't want to go, like, beating all the trainers and advancing in the story and all that, so... Yeah, we're going to go this way and see where it takes us. And, well, I mean, I can't imagine... It's going to take us away from, like, where we're supposed to be. Aw. Oh. Ah, it's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's just, it might not be exactly where we're supposed to be going next in the story, but it's not exactly going to be the wrong way. So, yeah. Damn, this wiggly stuff's a tank. Let's use... I don't know, let's use Snowy. Just because I like Snowy so much. And I'm not too sure about Snow Runts, but I don't know if he's got an evolution. Who knows? I certainly do not. So I'll have to, uh, well, I don't have to, but I may look that up sometime soon just to find out what it is and when it is. I mean, there's a couple of things that come to mind, like, uh, Snow Run... No, no, it is Snow Run, I meant Frostlass and the Bomber Snow. But, I mean, that they are just literally... Oh, they're, like, ice Pokemon. <laughs> that I'm not too familiar with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Snow Run's fourth gen, and so is a Bomber Snow and Frostlass, so... Anyway, this looks like we're coming up to 15 minutes now. So I'll fight one more guy real quick. This is perfect for Snowy because he's a bird trainer. So we'll do Icy Wind, 1 hit KO. Icy Wind, almost 1 hit KO. Okay. Oh, he's got another Pidgey. Icy Wind. Damn, quick attack. But it's okay because we'll just tackle it to death. I should have used Thundershock ages ago. But. Okay. Anyway, there we are again. And it feels like I've said this at the end of every episode, but I'm sorry that we didn't really get anywhere. I suppose it doesn't help that I've never played this before. But this was episode 8, and I will see you in episode 9.